Here is a Satco vintage style T9 hairpin style filament indoor light bulb. This is a 60 watts light bulb. It's very, very long uh, T style bulb. It's rated for 3,000 hours of operation. There's something doesn't quite add up about this because it's a 60 watts bulb but yet it only claims to output 240 lumens which is pathetic for a 60 watts bulb 60 watts bulbs typically between 600 on the low end about 850 on the high end you know it varies per style and quality but this is um no this is abysmal this is off the charts inefficient. In fact, I think this is one of the most inefficient light bulbs I've ever tested. This even beats out that ridiculous, um, I think it was a Sylvania branded reflector bulb that we tested like a month ago maybe. That uh, 45 watts bulb. This is even worse than that. <laughs> it's way worse. Do not use outdoors. Do not allow a fixture or liquids to contact the bulb. Forbidden. So, do not allow a fixture to contact the bulb. I don't know how we're going to use it then. like to get open without completely wrecking the box but that doesn't seem to be possible nope it's not possible so here's the bulb looks like a regular T style bulb just a fair bit longer It is Satco branded on the thing here, 60 watts, 120 volts, China, ooh. and it is a very thin, very thin filament, but it's, you know, fairly standard. It's kind of long. Well, it can't touch the fixture, so I guess we'll just, we'll just have to test it like this. Well, it doesn't even work. <gasps> it's touching the fixture. All right, let's turn this on. It's on. So, power consumption at 119. 0.2 the volts. It's taking 0 0.48 amps, 57.6 the watts, and has a power factor of 0 0.99. So it's not as dim as I thought it would be, or at least looking at it directly, it's it's um, not as gentle as I thought it would be. 240 lumens is more like I would say it's more like a 25 watt bulb range. I don't know why this is vintage style. It's 2700K. A lot of times with the DEL bulbs, uh, the vintage style ones are like amber in color, like 2200 Kelvin, etc. This one's 2700, so it's a standard color. It's definitely not quite as bright as a 60 watts bulb, but it's not like as dim as I thought it would be. I, I was expecting it to be almost worthless, but it's, you know, relatively bright. I don't agree with the 2700K color analysis, though. I think that this is more like 
23 somewhere in that range this has a very warm and and kind of yellowish tone to it much more than a standard incandescent bulb this looks like an incandescent bulb dimmed down quite a bit I like the color it's very nice um, but it's not what I would call 2700k those are supposed to be 2700k and you can probably even tell on the camera that there's a big difference let's dim this down a little bit that is 35 the watts that is 22 the watts <laughs> that's just pathetically inefficient I mean that's hardly outputting more than a 4 watt nightlight bulb and that's taking 20 20.6 watts still <laughs> with a power factor of 0 0.53 yeah this is just horrifically inefficient it's a kind of a cool looking bulb I'll give it that much but I just don't understand what the use case would be I just have to move it closer to the camera At that brightness, it's still drawing 11.6 watts. Now it's barely on. It's still drawing 7 watts. That's practically an indetectable amount of light. And it's still drawing 7 watts. You can see where the filament is held on it. It uh, stops glowing a bit. That's kind of cool. I'm going to try to get that on the video here, but this camera is not exposuring, exposuring correctly. There it goes. That's still drawing 4.6 the watts. That's just about off. And even that's still drawing 2.8 the watts. It's not glowing as far as I can tell. It's drawing 1.7 the watts. With a power factor of 0 0.14. It's an interesting bulb. I can see this looking pretty cool in certain open fixtures or uh, fixtures with clear glass shades. But I just don't understand what the use case would be given how inefficient it is. And I don't understand why it's so inefficient. You can still buy tubular bulbs like this. Um, you can get ones at the, the Home Depot that are 60 watts with normal or at least close to normal as far as I can remember light output they're not quite as um, long as this one is but I don't know the the efficiency is just it's inexcusably low and I'm not one to be particular about the efficiency of products you know as long as the product does its job well that's about as much as I care if it's within reasonable specs but this is just that is not that's totally out of reason